Improving safety on the field is a major NFL priority. It is an issue that the league and many experts in the medical and scientific communities are urgently studying and trying to address. But help may be coming from a most unlikely source, a trio of Massachusetts sixth graders. It was the like middle of football season, and it was an issue where some of the NFL players were getting concussions. So we decided that we wanted to find a way to like reduce concussions. Concussions in the NFL. The subject has dominated the headlines in recent memory. Some even believe the game as we know it is in jeopardy. But the future may be as bright as the next generation of students. A group of sixth graders from Lemonster, Massachusetts turned an annual science project into a potential blueprint solution to the game's most urgent dilemma. And also, my friend, he plays ice hockey and he got a concussion, so that kind of influenced too. A homegrown concern found itself on the international stage in Washington, D.C. to prove their concept was one of the best problem-solving ideas. These teams are all competing to be the winner of the Cyber Mission 2013. The Cyber Mission is an Army educational outreach program to address a community project using science, technology, engineering, and math to give back to the community. And we're like, how are we gonna do something with football? The expression, think outside of the box, we kind of thought that should, we should try that. That simple phrase inspired the boys to turn helmet design inside out. And we were like, we should put padding on the outside. After having a friend suffer a concussion as the result of a sporting accident, the Falcons have produced a more effective helmet design. We thought that if we put padding on the outside of the helmet, instead of just adding more padding to the inside of the helmet, then there would be less force. And we covered it with a smooth layer of duct tape, so when the player hits the ground, the player slides, it doesn't cause a rotational concussion. They thought that this was something really fun to do, so we knew of them doing the project, but they were the ones that were working hard outside of school, getting together on weekends and, and putting it together. We tested three different types of foam on the outside of our helmet, polypropylene foam, polyurethane foam, and polyester dense fine matting. This one did the best, so we tested this on the inside as well to prove our hypothesis. As much as I would like to take a lot of classroom credit for it, they did a lot of the work for themselves. Time for a test. Be good to your brain. Sixth grade national winning team is the Falcons. <laughs> the data results delivered the national award and true scientific recognition. I was pretty happy. I like jumped out of my chair to go up on the stage and it, it, I had a smile on my face. It was pretty awesome. I think the ramifications for this are beyond what the kids think about. The military companies, the helmet companies, they keep calling about their idea. It's unbelievable. The helmet design that we saw really has applications. You just wonder how they even think of it at the, the ages they are. There's a lot of people who play football and there's a lot of people who get concussions. So I think that helping people is kind of exciting. 